let's get back to it. Uh, right this way. So now let's do the actual test. Oof. That was powerful. Okay, hold on. Okay, just had to check something real quick. So this is the last regular map of the Inquisition, so it's probably the hardest. So this is a spawn cube. This auto respawn. At full though. See how that auto respawns now. So this laser node does the thing. Number one. One, three, two. Now I can turn I can't turn it on. I need a laser cube for that. I can turn this on though. And that makes a bridge. For a second, that was all the trip. Alright, then number two. Is that. It, it turns off a fizzler. That's what fizzlers you can go up there. Okay. And what does you do? Number three. Is that reverse polarity? I know it's another fizzler it turns off. trick I can do here. Hit both of these. The laser is originates up there. So I just I just go in and see what happens. So take this with me. Put the blue portal here in the marked wall. Just in case. Yeah, this is there's another laser in here. That looks like it either reverses the polarity or turns off that funnel. Also an area up there. There's a lot going on. I don't think this does anything. So... Sure, I need to fizz the cube. Okay, well, I can just get it again, no problem. So, I think I need to do is I need to leave this down here in the path of this wall so it hits three. It's right here. Get up there. There's a thing there. I think the I think this button reverses the polarity. Can I get the cube in there though? That's the question. So what if we just take this in here? I can do this. Do that. Now number two. That's well, for one not particularly helpful, but also that's not really okay, do this. He isn't it doesn't entirely help because now I'm just locked in here. Like I can go in here, I guess. Like Yeah, that's not gonna do much if I can't get the funnel anywhere else. Enables the stairs because I didn't want me to walk over here. I guess I thought that was weird. All right. Oh wait. Oh wait. I 
no. I was gonna say I could get the cube into there, but no, the, the fizzler's in the way. Very curious. Actually, put this here instead. And aim it like that. Stop, stop. You're aiming like that, so. So, not that one, but this one first. Like, I keep doing the wrong thing. God dang it, I misaligned it. You fool. So now I get up there. Wait! Oh god dang it, the, f the fizzler hit it. Well, I keep doing that. Get in there. And do this. Take this cube into the pocket where it can still hit the things. I can redirect it there. And now I can get both of us in there. Yeah, that works. Alright then, part one finished. Now I have funnel. The problem is now I need to get funnel out of room. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. It's like the cube needs to be on that button for me to be able to use the funnel for anything. But at the same time, I kinda need the cube to be able to get the funnel out of there. Like I can only power one of these directly against the one that makes the platform, which is not most helpful. I don't think I don't think I can activate this node without this node without a cube. This node does not activate while the cube. So I like how the wall split on the door there. That's neat. You don't see that all that often. Can I can't just see what's up there. There's a button and a laser node. Oh boy, this is complicated. Hello, is that no draw I see? Fascinating. I guess that has been going like for, for quite long already because of that bonus room. Like, even when I cut any of this out, it's still gonna be a longer episode. It kind of negates the last one being shorter. Unless I just, unless I just split. I could, I could just split the video again. I don't know. If there if there was if there was a split in the video without me doing an outro, will that be why? Do you know now that you know why now? Is that anything? Yeah, is that where, is that how we got that's how we got into the chamber? Never mind. Yeah, this has got me pretty stumped now. This is where all the hardness for the map series was. Huh. Like, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the, the funnel back out. I got one way, but I can't get it the other way. I need the funnel to be blue to get up to the top. You know what? I think it's walkthrough time. I'm not gonna spend too much here doing time here doing nothing, so let's see. Oh, I see. So I, I got the cube into this room in the wrong way. I need to do it differently. So let's just start that back over and get the cube again. So the way. Oh, wrong one. So the. Phew. That was funky. So the way I got the cube in the room is a bit of complex and not what I was supposed to do. Instead, what you're ideally supposed to do is get have the cube here in the main room and do that. Right, uh, wait. Let's do 
this and that. So then you move the blue portal there. Allows you to get in here. And now you move the blue portal here. So now you fetch the cube from the middle room into here. You seal, you seal the portal out there. So now you do this. Alright then. So now we, now we get out and we have the funnel. So now we get up top, so... Alright, so we finally got into the next part of this test. So what happens here? So this is this. So the laser node opens the exit. So then we need the cube and a laser up here. I can just spawn a new cube because it's over the abyss. I need to move the portals again to get it back. Unless. Hmm. Can you do that fizzle the cube? I can just kick the, grab the cube like that. Oh wait, hold on. So thinking. So I can't I can no longer I can't reverse the polarity of the funnel from here. So how do I get the cube to be up here now? It's like if I just if I just pull the cube all the way through the funnel, it would be stuck back there. I have to go fix it manually. Like, I just bring, if I just bring it further over here, it's not going to do anything, I'm pretty sure. It's like, whoop de doo That's not going to do a whole lot. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I? No, it's a grating. Durr. Move the portal there. Ah! I got that. Now you can just slam dug it through here. Put slam dug it through the portal. There we go. So now it's in there. So now... Let's do it from here, I guess. Now the exit open, but at the same time, I need to get over to the exit now. How do I do that? It's like if I, get, if I get my blue portal in the middle room, if I can do a similar thing to what I did before. So the middle fizzler is, is two. It's right below me. So if I do that, I can get into the middle room. The problem is though, I can't get to the orange portal to be able to get in there. Just split this in half if I haven't already. Interesting. So I'm so I'm gonna take this cube back in the first half of this, this room for a second. So can I hit that from here? Actually, that might actually be a smarter idea. That's inactive. So that poor thing is a key with blue portal. Can I? If I, if I have this here, can I? No. Uh, 
Oh, that's way too far of a jump. There's no... The fizzler is still off. So... Let's see here. Let do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And do that. I thought you'd be faster at this. But I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. Understandable. I definitely did. I have to look up, I look up a walkthrough for the first part. Anyways, yeah, that was that was quite a bit more hard than the other ones. It was a good chest chamber, though. I'm just bad at testing. All right then. We all cut it off right there then. Next time, we look at the we look at the adva the bonus maps for the Inquisition, and I don't know if I'll be able to solve them because they're. Because one of them is called Advanced, I don't know. Anyways, I'll, whatever happens, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.